Sizzle Nation, good afternoon. I hope you guys are doing great today. It's another beautiful day here in South Florida. I always say that, but like it truly is. Today there's like no clouds in the sky, light winds, and we are headed down to the boat. And I got my dad coming along with us for a fishing trip slash boating trip today. What's up, Sizzle Nation? I'm Brian, Darcy's boyfriend. And I'm not sure if she's trying to fool you guys or fool me, but she tells me we're going crabbing. And you know how much I love crabbing. So this is a crabbing video. We're going to check the pots. Maybe catching fish too, but it's also our anniversary, so it's gonna be very mushy. Isn't that true, Darcy? Yes. <laughs> you can tell she's thrilled. So it's our six year anniversary. I'm very excited. Darcy is not as excited as I am. <laughs> and I also want to bring attention this video is sponsored by Soul Life Optics. I know you guys love the white ones, but we're gonna get down to the boat. We're gonna have a beautiful day and uh, kill, kill it out there. Ready, Dad? Absolutely. <laughs> He's the least excited that it's our six month anniversary six oh, year anniversary. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. Another reason why we're crabbing today is because the last couple days it has been super rough out. There's like a northeaster that moved through the last couple days and it brought a ton of snow to you guys up in the Great White North. But down here it's really affected our weather and especially our seas. And so all the, these ground swells are being pushed right along our coast and we have heavy beach erosion because of it right now. But I saw in the news this morning that seas are like 12 to 14 feet with occasional 17s. It's crazy out there. So it'd be really dangerous to go up the inlet. We're not gonna do that. I heard a 42 foot boat got out there today, but they're crazy. So we figured we're gonna go ahead and throw up the drone. Brian will throw, uh, drive it around and see what we can see and how crazy those waves are crashing along our beaches. Picking up the first trap. If you haven't checked it in a little bit of time, we've been busy lately filming for you guys. So it is time to pull up our traps. Thank you, Dad. To pull up our traps, rebait them, and hopefully we got some keeper claws inside. Oh baby, there's another lion fish in here. Oh baby. We got an assortment of stuff in here, and we got another lion fish. So the venomous spines, of course, are all along his dorsal fin here. There's quite a few of them. And then on either side of his pectoral fins, he's got a bunch of barbs. I don't think these are poisonous down here. But what I do is I literally just cut all of these off on both sides, cut the dorsal fin down, and then you would fillet them like a normal fish. And the FWC like recommends you go down there, especially like lobster season. They want you to go down there and destroy them and shoot them. They're actually very easy. They're one of the easiest fish to spear. Um, and people are catching them more and more on hook and line, which is just a big no-no. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw him back by my well here and just let him die. Nope. All right. Well, now we learned our lesson, guys. We had two, two crabs in there. They did not have keeper claws. And there was two crabs in there as well that were killed and one looked like it had keeper claws. So we just gotta come back quicker, but we were just way too busy for that. No anniversary crabs for pudding today. So far, don't get your hopes down. We got one trap, three more to go. Can you guys believe she's making me go crabbing on my anniversary? I knew he was gonna start this today. I said we didn't have to. What, you said we'll go anyways. But we didn't have to, but we also, this is you. like long overdue and because of it, we don't have any crabs so far. I love crabbing. I'm the crabbing, I'm the crabbiest pudding in the world. <laughs> anyway, back to these sunglasses. These ones have polycarbonate lenses. They're really great, they're nice and light. Soul Life has been supporting Darcy for a long time and even Dad has a pair. Uh, so if you guys want to check those out, the thing's in the description, the link of course to go check them out. They got Zeiss lenses, pretty nice. And Darcy's going to be doing a, a video about how to clean them. You can't just start scrubbing them because that grinds the salt into them uh, from the salt spray. But uh, so, not a real technique, but you know, just take care of them and uh, they they're great. Let's go get our second trap. Baby, we got some lunkers. Heck yeah. We got some scored on some crabs today now. Second trap. We're getting Brian's wishes coming true. He's getting a bunch of delicious stone crabs on his anniversary. It's the best way to eat. The rich people eat this way. Rich people don't come out here and get their own crabs. <laughs> That's true. 
I got this running gag about rich people and poor people food at the house. Yes. Because I'm from New York. We only eat rich people food. <laughs> ready, ready, ready? Oh, here we go. Oh, my oh. God. Dude. Shoot. That's crazy. Holy moly. We scored. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. They come out of these rocks. I'm telling you. Little queen trigger. Look at that. Pretty. The last one he said was a queen was a gray. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what this is, a but looks. Gray. He's going back home. We got one mega daddy crab in there with some giant claws on him and a regrown claw, too. Let me get this catfish out. Grab him like Scott told you. Yeah, I didn't put a tail. Yeah, there you go. Grab him like tail. He stopped wiggling. Oh, he's so much. You're right by the crab now. Hey, language! Now, do you see why I don't like crabbing? Because it takes her, I don't, a hundred, why I don't like crabbing? Because it takes her a hundred years to get everything out of the pot. I don't think commercial guys take this long. It takes half an hour for us to play with the crabs. It's like going crabbing with a 10 year old. <laughs> probably take Brian three times as long, so good thing he doesn't do it, right? Thanks, Dad got him on the first trip. I would, I would go to the store, right, like to proper people in New York yeah, do, do, and buy okay. some crabs. These are the two biggest crabs in this pot. Look at that giant jumbo claw dad's holding. And he's got a regrown over there, which is pretty cool. See guys, this is very uh, sustainable kind of fishery. These crabs actually grow back their claws and they become predators. And when they have no claws, they become scavengers. They know how to feed themselves. This is awesome. Let's measure up this claw for me. Oh, that one's keeper. Let's check that one's keeper. Both keeper. keepers, so we're gonna take one. Keeper. <laughs> Are you crossing your fingers behind your back? No. No fingers. <laughs> That's a ridiculous claw. Yeah, check that out. I think we've had a couple pretty close to that size, maybe even one a little bigger. But I mean, check it out. We got three out of that bunch and there was eight crabs in there. So pretty amazing. You just never know what you're going to find. And there was no dead crabs in that one. So it just changes pot to pot. It's so interesting. And uh, let's go get some more. We got another trap check. All right, guys, we're doing a quick troll. Now, you know, we fish this area a lot, so we familiar with it is the time of year we catch fish by looking at our journal which you should keep we also know it's a couple hours after the, the tide so we got a good running current in here and I just checked the majors and it's about 20 minutes before a major starts so everything is kind of looking good we're optimistic about catching fish right now let's see if all that thinking can actually produce a fish <gasps> the traps open yeah someone robbed somebody it. robbed First it one. As just soon as I talk about that, they totally robbed my trap. It's official. Official time of a robbed trap. They totally cut my tie, which is gone, and they didn't put my thing, you know, close it back up or whatever. Urgh! That is aggravating. Why can't people just be freaking nice? Don't like people sometimes, gotta tell ya. So that is... That is really upsetting and it's unfortunate that people are like that, especially whoever is putting their trap like right on top of my trap lately these days, which is really annoying. There's plenty of water around here, guys. Put your trap somewhere else. But not only that, like, I know you robbed it and it just sucks that, you know, I can't do nothing about it and nobody's gonna do nothing about it. And I should have checked our traps earlier like we've been talking about, but you know, I don't know. What do you think? People are just... I think. You're lucky there's nothing she can do about it. <laughs> this time. This time. This time. If I catch him <laughs> red-handed, I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, we just got to come back here quicker, I guess. And I really thought, like, having the traps in the water for, like, four or five months now, this wasn't going to happen. But I don't Four's trust fine. people, and it's going to happen eventually. And it happened today. So, grr, that is really... <laughs> so I uh, made up the decision to just put, like, a couple more zip ties on it i don't know whatever it is what it is but we're gonna drop it again put it in the same spot because it's a good spot for me all of our spots are good honestly and there's a ton of crab traps in this area so probably whoever was here you know they wanted to uh rob everybody's trap so and probably happened on the weekend honestly because today is monday for us so you can see my baits are suspended up high usually you do that for the crabs so like the bottom dwellers and the catfish don't get to it and the crabs actually have to get in the trap in order to get to this stuff so we're just going to put the zip ties on it again. And this is just a good way for us to know if it's been robbed or not. Okay, trap is in the water. <laughs> I'm pretty mad, but crossing my fingers. 
and hopefully the last trap is going to produce for us and that one is not vandalized as well. Gosh, people are not cool. I'm cool. Me too. Dad's cool. Thieves aren't cool. And all the subscribers of Dare Sizzle Nation are cool. Yes. Cool. Just the people who steal from me and don't like me and are not fans of the channel Pat? are not cool. That is Pat. Who's really cool. You want to be really cool is you slam the notification bell. Yes, That's the coolest please. thing you can do. Yes, please. <laughs> all right. One now, more trap. I got to get my attitude a little better because uh, I'm pretty grumpy right now. You sound like pudding. I sound That's like pudding. That's a bad pudding. idea. You want to be like pudding. I Let's do. go chase Captain Pat. We got to go. No. <laughs> I just chased down Captain Pat. Made him lose his hat. To just Ryan aggravate him. Is, and his hat flew off. Ryan's mean. I um, mean, he, he has customers too, so we gotta take it down low. Down low. He's, we're flew on his hat with boom. That was awesome. We got a nice blue fish. Wait, nope. We got a snook. We got a snook. Net, net, net. Net, dead. No jumping, dude. No jumping, dude. Stay hooked. Stay yeah! Oh, we just came off the hook. Wow! Whoa. That is awesome, guys. We got our snook today. Stoked! I saw that rod go down too, and I thought it was a. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I honestly thought it was the bottom because usually this lure scrapes on the bottom. Check that out. He is definitely not a slot fish, which means I can't keep him. Um, but that is a gorgeous fish, which is watch his sunglasses. Um, which is, is goes mayhem when we catch a fish guys, but uh, beautiful fish and we're like literally in the middle of a channel just slow trolling and he was hungry. He just chomped on that giant lure. I mean look at that thing. And that's a Rapala X-Rap 20. So uh, if you are interested in that lure as well, I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out. But it gets down deep to where the fish are. Awesome job, Dust Sizzle. I just wanted to mention that that fish came right off the lure when we took the tension off the line when he was in the net. So that's why you always got to keep tension on the fish. Uh, keep a bend in the rod, and if you're trolling, you got to keep trolling. People always say, oh, why do you guys keep the boat moving? Well, that's why. You got to keep pressure on that fish. Otherwise, the hook can just come out. You never know. So, He's excellent. Ready. He's trying to 20-inch, cute little juvenile snook going home. I can't believe he crushed that giant lip diver. That was awesome. Let go. Hanging out with us. There he goes under the boat back home. That is so cool, and that's why you always pull lures in the no wake zones. Again, a giant fish got in here. Oh my goodness! Look at this, guys. This is, this is the final trap of the day. There's a two by four that goes here, and it's actually to so the crabs don't escape. And I'm actually surprised why we even have any traps, any crabs in there right now, because that's an escape route for them. And that's meant to be there if the trap ever loses its float and it becomes a ghost trap, then the tra they eventually will get out because the two by four will rot. Or it's a two by two? I'm not sure. It's a one by two. One by two, sorry. The one by two will rot. And honestly, this was broken by a giant fish or something, but it, it was no person because nobody's had vandalized this trap. My seals are still on it. So I honestly think that's a really new break. I think some got out of here, but we just got two small crabs that are gonna need to go home. Dude, that was smashed. Oh. Worms. Oh, worms. Oh, Dad just figured it out. What is it, Dad? Tell them. Worms. It's probably Torito worms. Oh, Torito worms that eat wood. Holes. It's uh, if you look closely, you'll see it. Oh, that makes sense now. So it was really weak, and the crabs chewed it up. Wow. So the, between the the Nothing worms it, yeah. burrowing in it. And it's super lightweight wood. Okay, what do they do? They'll, they'll eat. They eat wood. Torito worms are found in the southern ocean, in the summer, southern hemisphere, where it's warm, and uh, they're known for eating entire ships. So wow. the ship would be at sea for two or three years and get in a terrible storm. It would sink. So that's when they invented cladding, copper, and lead cladding for ships and various paints to try to keep the ships from sinking, basically, because over time they get eaten. Crazy. Like uh, saltwater termites, wow. so to speak. Wow, so. that is wild. And I can't believe they just t tore through that wood, that piece of wood that has only been in the water not that long, honestly. But they we got a ship, dude. They'll Ooh. eat a ship that's crazy to think about. Wow. All right, let's get back in the water. I, I could have sworn it was like a giant bluefish, a jewfish, or a shark I'll trying to get in it. But wow. that makes sense now, actually. Yeah. All right, so we're going to redrop the trap and we're going to decide not to rebate this trap and uh, come back with the, the correct size of wood and then we'll replace it and get it back in the water. So that's crazy. Two traps are messed with this time.
You never know out here. So I think we just came up with a theory about what happened to that trap, but we think that the uh, worms were buried into it, made it super soft, and then the crabs that got in there, you know, they got the powerful claws, so they're climbing all over the place, they don't swim, and he probably grabbed onto the piece of wood and just made it fall apart, and it was brittle, so it just crapped apart, it just fell apart uh, for them to escape. So let us know your what you guys think happened to that particular trap in the comments below. And uh, thank you once again so much for watching this video. We appreciate you as always. And we'll be back with another adventure real soon. And until then, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Let's go home, it's cold. Yes, I'm cold, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> on a run from my given disaster.